Any health-related information on the following show provides general information only. Content presented on any show by any host or guest should not be substituted for a doctor's advice. Always consult your physician before beginning any new diet, exercise, or treatment program. Welcome to Accelerated Health Radio, our TV and radio show. I'm your host, Sarah Banta. I'm a health coach, natural supplement expert, and a busy mom of three. Make sure you hit the subscribe button below so you're notified every week with my new podcast on Mondays and Tuesdays. And if you haven't already, join my free group coaching on Telegram with the link below. There is no downside. I teach you on a daily basis with tips and tools to enhance your health, and you will be a part of a like-minded group to support you on your journey. In addition to truly taking control of your health, the protocols and supplements that I discussed today are all found at sarabantahealth.com. And today we're going to be talking about how to change your body composition with age. So you're looking in the mirror and you're like, I don't like how it jiggles over here and it wiggles over there. The scale may move up or down, but it really isn't telling you everything that's going on in your body. We have been taught to look at our weight as a measurement of health. The bathroom scale is common in most homes. And that scale gives you a small indication of what's going on in your body. The measurement is far from telling you the important information that's needed, especially as we age. I know a lot of women, for instance, after they have their babies, will say, well, I'm back to my pre pregnancy weight, but my clothes don't fit right. They just are, my ribs are bigger, my hips are bigger, the shape is different. Well, the that's body composition. So most men and women lose muscle mass and bone, gain fat, increase inflammation, all as they enter into their 40s and beyond. And all the while, the scale may not change. Personally, I've had the scale go down showing weight loss when I've actually lost muscle and gained fat weight. So you could think, oh, well, that's kind of what I wanted, but then, oh my God, no. I don't think anyone dies thinking, I wish I had less muscle mass. Really? I mean, even women, very few women will say they want less muscle mass. So Why are we playing games with our brain with a number on a scale that means nothing? And we're going to go into all of the different factors that can go into that number, especially as you look into your 40s, 50s and 60s. It's so easy to lose muscle mass. Me alone, I've been fighting hard to keep on my muscle mass. I just am prone to lose it. I am not prone to gain a lot of fat weight, but I'm also prone to lose muscle mass. And so it's something that everybody's got their own issues, right? The scale alone can vary 10 to 15 pounds in a day in some people just due to inflammation, hydration, constipation, food intake, intake, strength workouts, and more. And this is why you want to look at your full body composition. So what is body composition? It refers to the percentage of body fat, muscle, water, bone in the body. We discussed this with Heather Hineker um, a bit with the in-body scan last uh, on the podcast last week. So as you age, you tend to lose muscle and bone, right? Osteoporosis and the muscle that we've talked about. You gain fat, you possibly gain inflammation, and you gain extracellular water and lose intracellular water. We're going to get into that in a minute. The three body types, we did discuss this, ectomorph. Ectomorphs are characterized as long and lean with little body fat, little muscle. They have a hard time gaining weight. And you may think, oh, those people are so lucky. Well, actually, it's they're struggling just as much as you are trying to gain muscle as you are trying to lose fat. So 
don't think that you want to trade problems, right? Everyone's got their issues. Endomorphs, they have a lot of body fat and a lot of muscle and they gain and lose weight easily. Um, the mesomorphs are characterized, I'm sorry, they, they gain weight easily. The mesomorphs are characterized as athletic, solid, and strong. They tend to be able to eat what they want without worrying about it. They gain and lose weight. However, those people tend to have a harder time as we age, right? Everything gets harder as we age. So what are the things that are making you gain or lose weight on the scale, but not telling you the full picture? Intracellular water. Okay, so we've talked about the hydration of the cells. This is so important because your hydration at the cellular level is allowing your cells to detox, to get energy, to increase ATP. All of these things are super important and can actually increase the weight on the scale. Um, as the cells become properly hydrated with the proper amount of sodium, potassium, and other minerals and electrolytes, the scales can actually show an increase in weight while improving overall health. I have had an improvement in my intracellular water. So on the in-body scan, Heather and I discussed that um, phase angle, but then also the, the intracellular versus extracellular water ratio in the body. And that shows your inflammation versus your cellular hydration. I've had that number improve, meaning my intracellular water increased and my extracellular water, meaning the inflammation in my body decreased, but the scale went up. And here, if I was just weighing myself on my bathroom scale, I would have thought, oh my gosh, I've gained weight. What did I eat yesterday? What's happening? What's going on in my body? Well, this can actually be a good thing. You need that intracellular water increase so that your cells are not dehydrated. Um, I have my practitioner who scans me with the SKU machine this weekend. I was feeling really bloated and inflamed. The scale was up five pounds meant nothing. For me, it meant, okay, Sarah, something's going on in your body where you know you have inflammation because there's no way you gained five pounds of fat weight because that's where our brain usually goes, right? And he actually said, oh my gosh, you have food poisoning, which causes water retention, which causes bloat, constipation. But Sarah, you are actually dehydrated. So my intracellular water was really bad, even though the water weight had increased, the scale had increased, and all of these inflammatory markers had increased, nothing to do with fat weight, nothing to do with muscle gain, and it was all due to inflammation, water retention, constipation, due to gut bacteria imbalances that were causing just my gut just said, whoo. It was having World War III in there. Okay, so intracellular water is, is really important. Weightlifting. When you strength train, muscles and tissues are temporarily inflamed and may retain the excess water for healing. This can show up on the scale as weight gain. But this is a good thing. And this is just having your muscles actually start to grow and inflame temporarily, and then they will shrink. It's actually been said that you don't want to do an in-body scan on a day that you actually weight lifted because it might um, inflame the numbers one way or another. So imagine what it's doing to the scale and your and your muscles are probably telling your brain, I'm extra thirsty. I need extra electrolytes to feed the muscles and the tissues and plump the volume of blood into the muscles to get the, the um, repair that you want to, to repair those muscles and get the benefits from the weightlifting. Number three, eating the wrong healthy foods. And we talk about, you know, all of these healthy foods, like with sulfur or oxalates, I'll get into that in a minute, um, that could be tripping up your detox pathways. But what you need to look for is if you are stepping on the scale and if you gain more than a pound in a day, it usually is your body telling you that you have eaten a food um, that your body's intolerant to 
or that your gut just says, no, thank you. This feedback is actually positive in teaching you about your own body. If you don't have the chance to go to do an, an in-body or a body composition scan that day and you step on that scale, that could be good feedback teaching you that, you know what, that broccoli and chicken that I ate and I had no sugar, I didn't do anything wrong, I worked out like I normally do, I slept well, and I put on a pound of water, that's telling me that that broccoli doesn't work for my system. So you can actually use that feedback as a positive in teaching you about your own body. Typically, foods containing sulfur, oxalates, lectin, or too much fat, or the amyloid proteins in the chicken, the conventional beef, those healthy foods that we are, are hearing about, could be triggering bloat, constipation, swelling, water retention, poor digestion, backing up the liver. If your liver gets backed up by these foods, then your liver then can't work to function with, or to produce the thyroid hormones, to also metabolize the other fat and the other healthy foods that we're taking in. The extracellular water, I mentioned this, this is the body, this is the body, is in the body, but not inside the cells, it's outside the cells. This can increase from inflammation in the body, damage to the tissues, edema. If you can't pull your rings off your fingers um, or your ankles look swollen, that's that extracellular water. And if the scale is up, and you're feeling swollen in your ankles, you know it's water. You know it's the wrong kind of water. You won't feel that if it's intracellular water, if your ankles won't look swollen or your rings won't feel like they can't come off if it's the good, healthy water, the intracellular water. Weather change. Yes, the weather. Going from a really hot day to rain, traveling, um, going from one time zone to the next, you will get inflamed. You will hold on to that water. The, bar the barometric pressure shifting can actually cause inflammation in the body, causing water retention. A full moon and new moon. Last week, we had a, oh gosh, was it, it was a full moon. And then we had an eclipse following it right after. So a lot of people were, were contacting me saying, I'm so constipated. Why am I so constipated? Are the herbs not working anymore? The full moon and the new moon can cause constipation. They're causing hormonal changes in your body. They're also causing water retention. The moon can move the tides of the world and the ocean. Why do we think it's not going to change the water balance in our little bodies, right? Women seem to be a lot more... Um, sensitive to this than men. Um, and then that also leads to constipation in general. By not having a bowel movement, I know all of you have had bowel movements where you literally think, oh my gosh, I think I lost five pounds in the toilet, right? Well, that means nothing to your bone mass, your fat mass, and your muscle mass, right? So that bowel movement also can help release some extracellular water. I know a lot of you know this feeling of when you're constipated, you also feel like you're retaining water. The constipation and the bowels do play with the kidneys and the bladder. And, uh, and you also may notice that sometimes when you're constipated and you do finally go to the bathroom, you also may urinate at the same time releasing all that water as well. So they do play in together. And those are things to take into account. You need to be pooping two to three times a day. Some other things that may affect you, hormones, time of the, of the menstrual cycle, right? PMS do, does cause constipation because everything down there gets inflamed. It's kind of like that pelvic inflammatory disease, but more of just that temporary inflammatory um, of the organs is causing and pushing um, pressure on the intestines, then causing constipation. And then that can back up your digestion. 
It can make you feel like you're heavy. Things aren't really moving. That can also slow down your thyroid. Um, a lot of people feel like their thyroid goes up and down with their cycle. That will cause constipation, which will cause water retention, weight gain, according to the scale, all of these things, just inflammation in general. If you have an injury, um, if your adrenals are backed up or you have adrenal fatigue and you can actually feel in your back where your adrenals are, you can feel inflammation um, that can cause water retention because the adrenals are sitting on top of the kidneys and the kidneys hold them up. So then the kidneys get inflamed, retaining water. So there's a domino effect of all of these things that are causing weight gain that may or may not be reflected on the scale. So what we want to do today is look at all of these factors and how to change your body composition. Because really what we want to do is we want to increase muscle mass regardless of your age, right? But especially as we get into our 40s, 50s, and 60s, because it is very difficult to maintain muscle mass. So we want to increase that muscle mass. We want to increase the bone density. Who out there says, oh, I really want to lose some weight by losing some bone density? That's ob absolutely ridiculous, and you know it. You also want to increase that intracellular water and decrease the extracellular water. Most diets may help you lose weight, but they also affect the fat and the muscle at the same time. Most diets, including diet drugs, including things like Ozempic, have been proven to make you lose weight muscle when you're losing the fat. And then when you get off those diets, they all come back with, um, and they bring some friends, right? The fat cells come back, they fill up, and then they bring some more fat with them. And then you're stuck with a low muscle mass because you now have a hormonal um, balance of a 40, 50, or 60 year old that has a difficult time building muscle but the fat is easier to come on the body. And then it has also probably lowered your metabolism. So as a result, most people gain the weight back due to a slower metabolism and the weight is mostly fat and inflammation, not muscle. And then your thyroid's not working. The bone density probably suffers because muscle mass is co correlated with stronger bone density, probably because people that gain muscle also are lifting heavy weights, which helps with bone density as well. So all of these factors um, play together in the sandbox. What I've put together is the Ascent Diet Cleanse, and it does increase muscle mass, decreases unwanted body fat, reduces the extracellular water, increases the intracellular water, increases bone density, increases metabolism, and all the while, you're increasing your mood and physical energy and eliminating the boat, bloat and constipation. So how do all of these work together? They accelerate a keto. So while this is turning your body into ketosis or fat burning mode within 30 minutes, it's tapping into your own fat stores for energy. So what does that mean? When it tells your body, okay, I'm burning fat now. I don't need to burn up my muscle. Because when you are burning glucose for energy, the body goes straight from burning the glucose that you've eaten into tapping into your muscle as glucose. It, it breaks down the muscle into, into um, amino acids and uses gluconeogenesis to take those muscle proteins and turn them into something it can burn because it doesn't know how to burn the body fat. But when you're on the accelerated keto, the body is burning its own body fat from that to then thinking, okay, now I can intermittent fast. I don't need to eat right now. I'm going to burn all my body fat. And all the while, I'm actually going to maintain that expensive um, muscle mass. It's kind of like, you know, what are you burning, putting, what's the fuel you're putting on the log fire? Are you going to put the logs like the fat 
Or are you going to burn your, your couch and your furniture? No, we're not going to do that. We want to keep our couch and all of our furniture. We want to burn the logs on the fire. And that's your body fat. And all the while, then you're sending amazing ketones to the brain for great energy as well. Your intermittent fasting. Now, intermittent fasting is a key to this healing and changing the body composition. Why? Intermittent fasting improves blood sugar control, lowers blood pressure, reduces that inflammation. So the water weight's going to go away, improves brain function, dementia, reduces risk of diseases like diabetes, cancer, helps with the level of autophagy, which is the cleanup of the diseased and damaged cells. So it's just going through the body and cleaning all that up. Increases ATP production and mitochondria health significantly. That is your true cellular energy. So you're getting your energy from um, your brain and your body, and it's working harder without you eating. And with just getting onto that nice coaster of the accelerated keto and intermittent fasting. It improves the detoxification of heavy metals, the bad estrogens, and the radiation. Those things right now are a huge part of the unexplained weight gain and this insulin resistance that 90% of you have. 90% of you have insulin resistance, prediabetes, or type 2 diabetes. 90%. So if you are not actively doing something about your insulin resistance, then you are probably one of the nine out of 10 people suffering from insulin resistance. So the Ascent Diet Cleanse with the Accelerated Keto with the Intermittent Fasting is going after that. And the heavy metals, the bad estrogens, and the radiation are a big part of that and those don't even have any calories with them. But what they're doing is they're causing a backup in the liver. So the liver can't process the fats, the proteins, and the sugars properly the way they're meant to. Then the in, in intermittent fasting is also improving the fat burning because that's helping with your liver, improves that metabolic flexibility. So you can go from burning body fat to, oh, I just had some fruit or some sweet potatoes and carbs, now I have the metabolic flexibility to switch back and forth to, to burning healthy carbs and healthy fats and healthy proteins. I am not a believer in a high fat ketogenic diet for everybody. It seems now that the spike protein has caused such a disruption in insulin and fat metabolism that people are unable to actually break down a high fat diet. So that's where you need to listen to your own body. Are you getting nauseous when you eat fat? That's a sign you need a liver flush and that is included in the Ascent Diet Cleanse. But it's also a sign that you, um, you may need to be working on your liver. You may need to be, stick to a leaner, leaner cuts of wild animal protein and less high fat of a diet. So the accelerated keto is working with intermittent fasting. And then it's also using the extra ingredients in the accelerated keto to break down the saturated fats into unsaturated fats. I just mentioned that the liver's having more of a difficult time to break down those fats. Well, breaking down unsaturated fats is much easier. So this is helping your body burn those fats, helping with the liver, defatting the liver. So it's working on a daily basis before you even engage in the liver flush supplements. So it is helping break down those fats into usable energy. Then it's also helping increase your metabolism because what's happening is the thyroid hormones convert from T4 to T3. That stands for for uh, tyrosine and three and four molecules of iodine. Tyrosine comes from wild animal protein, three and four molecules of iodine come from the accelerodyne, and then that helps the liver function better. The thyroid then is able to work better as well because the conversion happens much more effectively. Normally, if the liver's backed up from the radiation, the, the processed foods, the, um, the heavy metals, the bad estrogens, then the T4 is not converting to T3. 
and then it actually may be converting into reverse T3, which is that survival hormone, slowing down the metabolism and causing a, just a, a further backup in the liver and um, just halting everything, which is then going to cause a, a negative reaction in all of the factors of body composition. So accelerated keto also includes that compound known as HMB, which prevents muscle wasting. We need to keep on that muscle. We need to keep it as we age. So it's super common to lose the, the muscle as we age. The HMB is helping maintain it. Acceleridine, as I mentioned, so important for body composition. It increases ATP by 18 times, 18 times. That is going to help with intracellular water because it's getting the good water into, into the cells. It's helping with metabolism because we need it for our T4 and T3, for our thyroid hormones, for our thyroid to work. It's improving caloric burn, brain function, physical performance, so that you actually have the energy to go to the gym and do the strength training and lift the hefty heavy weights. We need to be lifting the heavy weights. Well, now we're actually going to have the energy to do so. It's going to increase that fat burning and the fat oxidation. It's going to help with healthy apoptosis, the destruction of disease cells. All of these factors may move the scale up or down with, without reflecting body composition. When ATP increases, energy and fat oxidation increase. Accelerodyne also helps speed that metabolism up, increase that physical energy. As the thyroid's functioning optimally, ATP is maximized, body composition is improved on all levels. And then you pair with it the accelerated thyroid. This is not just advanced glandular therapy. There are so many glandulars out there, and a lot of them are coming from very um, suspicious um, sources. We are adding in powerful Ayurvedic herbs that help with water retention. Um, it's called conchinara, and it drains the dampness in Ayurvedic medicine. So it's helping with the edema, helping with that extracellular water, but it's also cleansing the thyroid, detoxing the thyroid, and helping with overall mental and physical health. And as you are targeting the thyroid as the master endocrine gland, that's affecting your adrenals. That's affecting your gonads and your hormones. It is in charge of helping with your whole hormonal balance, your adrenal access, your hypothalamus, pituitary adrenals, hypothalamus, pituitary, gonadal system, all are related to the hypothalamus, pituitary, thyroid axis. So we want to look at all of these things together. Remember, the adrenals are in the back. They could be swollen. They could be putting pressure on the kidneys, retaining water. They could make you chronically producing um, cortisol, which is your stress hormone, which is having a cascade of negative um, issues in your body, which leads to things like muscle wasting that no one talks about. So the accelerated thyroid works with the accelerodyne and the accelerated keto to support intermittent fasting, to support inflammation to come down, getting your thyroid and metabolism working right. And it's also enhanced with proprietary scalar technology, scalar um frequencies to help heal the thyroid, to detox it from the radiation and the heavy metals that we've been talking about. And so you're getting this healing of the thyroid. I've had so many clients who are on their armor thyroid, on their nature thyroid, synthroid, and asking, can they get off of those? They feel good. I say, you need to do it with the direction of your doctors, of course, but so many people are able to get off of their medications, which is their goal. So again, to, to emphasize, the accelerated thyroid is enhancing the general health of the thyroid, reversing thyroid disease, neutralizing the toxins in the thyroid that cause fat gain, slow metabolism, 
and those can include chlorine, fluorine, mercury, and other metals, and it neutralizes the radiation and nuclear fallout that may contribute to fat gain, lack of energy, and mood disorders. Um, we will be entering another era of nuclear threat in the next couple of years. So just keep this in mind as you are trying to protect yourself and keep your body stabilized and in a, a good position, not just for body composition, but overall health. The accelerated cellular detox powder, why this is helpful. This is a, an organic formula that coats the stomach and intestinal lining, reduces inflammation, helps with bloat and regularity, alleviates issues like Crohn's disease and colitis. What is colitis? It is inflammation of the colon. Anytime you hear itis, it's inflammation of. So if you have inflammation in your intestines, of course, there's something down there, whether it's poop or water or, or extra fluid that is being reflected as weight on the scale. So if you are using the detox powder to help reduce the inflammation, help with those diseases like colitis and Crohn's disease, you will help see a difference in the scale number and help with your body composition because it's going to help with the um, unexplained weight gain as inflammation is decreased, the absorption of the new nutrients are improved and excess bloat and water retention are minimized. I've had people call it the superhero of gut supplements because it really helps with just making you feel good. College students love it because it soaks up the alcohol that they tend to drink at night. I'm not recommending alcohol, but I'm saying that once, if you do drink, it does soak up the toxins and helps alleviate some of the side effects of alcohol consumption. The accelerated silver enhances your immune system's ability to devitalize those foreign pathogens, including those that contribute to a slow metabolism, fat accumulation, autoimmune issues, and fatigue. For me, over the weekend, I had a bacteria that literally took over my body because it was foodborne, E. coli or salmonella, I was lazy about taking my silver. It took over my gut pathogens. Add in stresses of family and Easter and all the fun stresses of life, not the negative ones, and I'll pile that on. My stomach looked like I was eight months pregnant. The scale said I was five pounds up. But what was it? It was a foodborne illness that got out of control and the accelerated scalar, scalar silver helps with things like that, helps with the colds and the flus. When you are fighting a virus, when you are get coming down with um, the, the regular flu, winter flu, what happens to your immune system? It shuts down your thyroid. It shuts down your metabolism because the body and the brain say, okay, I'm in survival mode. I've got to kick out this, this virus or bacteria that I'm fighting or the candida or the parasites, any pathogen. And I'm as I'm going to do that, I'm going to save all my energy and slow down my metabolism. So with that, the accelerated silver is actually boosting that immune system so that you don't ever get that threat, that your body never feels that threat or slows down its metabolism by having a viral or bacterial or a fungal or a parasitic um, infection causing or causing a threat to the body where then the body needs to shut down its metabolism. Quintessential point nine or, and the accelerated ancient salt and the wild lights, these are all electrolytes and they support that intracellular water, that homeostasis, the rehydration that also supports normal digestion and also eliminating the excess water retention. So when you eat my accelerated ancient salt, are you going to get bloated? Are you going to get the bloat in the face like you do when you go and you eat sushi? No because all of the restaurant salts are stripped of all of the other minerals, but they have sodium and then they've got the microplastics that the body's got to deal with. And then it causes bloat and water retention, the extracellular water. The intracellular support and hydration 
comes from the 62 minerals uh, that are in the ex accelerated ancient salt in the quintessential 0.9 in the wild lights and those things are helping with the good hydration of the body. The Ascent Diet Cleanse finishes off with the Liver Flush Kit and this kit is, the, these supplements are meant to soften the liver stones, prep the liver to release those stones in the toilet and everyone who does it is shocked when they see hundreds to thousands of these little miniature pea-sized stones in the toilet. Those have been sitting in your gallbladder and your liver. How can your liver metabolize fat, metabolize protein, break the proteins down into those amino acids if you've got all of these stones sitting in there, right? How are you able to convert T4 to T3 and, and break down the prime rib that you want to eat? Um, God forbid if you're trying to break down the McDonald's or the other processed foods or maybe even just the kale and the healthy foods that you think you are eating. Some of those foods are causing more of a burden on your liver, but if your liver were clean, it could maybe handle those foods a little better. So the liver flush is really important, especially now as the spike protein and the burden of the extra estrogen, um, the, the bad estrogens in the environment, the heavy metals, the toxicity that we are being bombarded with. We've got to love our liver and we've got to do these flushes to cleanse it on a year annual basis. So I really recommend doing this three to four times a year. You will feel so much better, so much energy. Every time I do it, literally, I my energy shoots through the roof and I'm amazed, even myself, um, with the jump in my liver function and the jump in my thyroid function and my hormones my skin, my hair, everything feels better, seems better, the body composition. So most people who do the liver flush, when they then go back to Heather Hineker at Ascent Adaptation and they do a in-body scan, they see their phase angle increase significantly, their wa extracellular water go down, their muscle increase, their visceral fat decrease, which is that dangerous um, belly fat, the liver flat fat goes down, it all improves that body composition scan improves significantly. It is amazing to see the change in people's body composition. Um, next, lacks of comfort. This is really important because you need to be having those bowel movements and lacks of comfort takes those people who say, Sarah, I just don't poop. I'll go for a week without going to the bathroom and then it's just little pebbles. And it, it, the lacks of comfort takes those people and they're actually having daily bowel movements without stress and it takes it out of the equation takes that stress out of the equation where when you're constipated all the time, your day is surrounded by bathroom trips, whether you're going to go to the bathroom or not. And the cramping and the pain and the bloat, the, it causes headaches, so many things. So those are the supplements in the Ascent Diet Cleanse, but you also want to look at your gut. Most people, 80 to 90% of people have leaky gut. The leaky gut bundle includes mega spore biotic, the mega pre um, biotic, and the mega mucosa. The mega spore is much different than any probiotic. It literally has a brain. It goes down in there and it goes after the bad bacteria, the E. coli, salmonella, the H. pylori. It, it goes after the dysbiosis, but it helps control that bad bacteria without killing off the good bacteria, and it doesn't cause a proliferation of too much of a good thing like a lot of uh, probiotics do. And the Mega Pre reinforces the beneficial microbial changes created by the Mega Spore Biotic. So it feeds the good bacteria. Then the Mega Mucosa helps 
feed the um, or re, uh, replenish what is needed to help with that leaky gut, the lining, the tight junctions that get broken. So the mucosal system is essential for nutritional absorption, weight management, and the immune system. And the mega mucosa is sealing those tight junctions. And it tastes good. The mega mucosa and mega pre, I like to combine those powders and drink them throughout the day just for support on my gut all throughout the day. You can also help, um, help with your body composition by adding in a few more supplements. And these are not necessary. They are, it's according to your priority. So I don't want to overwhelm you, but the liquid biosol collagen is the only collagen that I use. It is important to include a high quality collagen supplement as you age because we stop producing collagen. It's a protein that's needed for hair, skin, nails, tendons, and it softens, softens the tissues between the muscle fibers. Most people are, are complaining about hair loss. Um, collagen is a big part in that. It's needed for the muscles to repair and improve the bone density. 90% of your bones are collagen. So as you're losing weight on the scale and it's not being reflected because it's bone loss, you might be actually gaining good uh, collagen and bone density from collagen if you start with the liquid biocell collagen. Um, this is something that I take morning and night, tastes really good. It's easy to add into a regimen. The My Vital C, this is carbon 60. This is not a vitamin C. It's a potent antioxidant. It's been shown not only to extend lifespan by 90%, but also helps with weight management, improved sleep, improved wrinkles, strengthens bones, improves athletic performance, which is then going to help with your with your bone density, your muscle tone, your fat loss, and all of the things that, that help improve body composition. It improves libido and more. I love this because right away I was sleeping better on it. And that, just that, just improving your sleep is going to improve your body composition. My husband the other night we, uh, stayed out and went to a concert and he came home and he went to bed at midnight. Normally he's in bed by 10 and the next morning he got up. Normally he doesn't really eat until about 10 or 11 in the morning. He woke up hungry and he woke up and he ate right away and he goes, it's really weird. I don't know why I didn't even drink last night. I just feel really hungry. It's because when you don't sleep, that ghrelin hormone gets triggered. Your ghrelin hormone is your hunger hormone. And then that hunger hormone is going to trigger you to eat and possibly reach for the wrong foods. That's going to cause insulin um, roller coaster and blood sugar roller coaster, causing insulin resistance, causing weight gain, fat gain, uh, muscle loss and all of the th these things. So you can see how just by not sleeping, you're going to start a cascade of detrimental body composition issues. Accelerated ancient salt, I already mentioned that, but that a lack of sodium, potassium, and potassium may actually lead to water retention because of this sodium potassium pump inside and outside the cell. The pump's job is to bring nutrients into the cell and remove, remove the toxins out. Most salts are stripped of all those minerals except for sodium and they, are, they have those um, um, toxic microplastics. So those salts can lead to dehydration, toxicity, and bloat. So you're actually dehydrated and bloated at the same time. That's going to cause the wrong waters to be in your water, your body, and the right waters not to. So the accelerated ancient salt, just by putting it on your tongue or in your workout drink, can actually improve your energy to actually work out harder and faster and decrease the bloat. So I also want to talk about some of the patches real quick, because the X49 patch, right away, I saw a decrease in my visceral fat an increase in my muscle 
and uh, an improvement in my workouts and my strength during my workout. Factually, within one week, I saw it on my body scan. And I saw an increase in my hair, uh, improvement, bone density. I felt stronger. I felt more in tune with my bone, skin. Everything was working better with the X49. That is key. So next would be the energy enhancer patch that increases caloric burn by 30 calories a, a day. It helps with fat oxidation, which is going to help with fat loss. It increases the metabolic rate. It increases the drain dampness. Remember, we talked about getting rid of that edema, getting rid of the excess water. It increases ATP production in the mitochondria. So the energy enhancer patch and the X49 are working with the Ascent Diet Cleanse supplements to help with body fat, muscle tone, bone density, energy, all of these things are working synergistically. That ATP number is shot through the roof with these things working together. And you're working with that accelerated keto as well. The X39 is helping our body work as if our cells are 20 years old and not 40, 50, and 60. So detox pathways are improved, our fat oxidation lean muscle math, inflammation, all of those things are improved. The carnosine patches as well, the enhanced energy and, and endurance, that's going to quicken the fat loss and the muscle gain results from the Ascent Diet Cleanse. Then what you wanna do is focus on the lean wild animal protein, consuming one to 1.2 grams of protein per pound of optimal lean body mass. And this is from the lamb, bison, deer, grass-fed beef, elk, wild salmon, away from the chicken, the conventional beef that have the amyloid proteins. Those amyloid proteins are going to back up the liver. They're not broken down. They're not going to be serving your muscles any um, any any favors, and they could actually lead to fat gain. These lean and wild animal proteins are full of the vitamins we think we're getting from the vegetables were, that we're not getting anymore. And they're also triggering a hormone called CCK that's telling the brain to suppress that appetite. And that appetite then says, we don't need any more food. We're good. Let's focus on the wild animal protein, focus on the vegetables that work for our, our bodies and let's go do something. Let's go work. Let's go work out. Let's go enjoy, enjoy life and our, our friends and family. Then you want to eliminate the oxalates. Those oxalates are plant poisons found in foods like spinach, kale, almonds, chocolate, berries, turmeric. Those can back up the liver, cause hypothyroidism, cause urogenital issues, um, UTIs, bladder infections, uh, kidney issues, inflammation, water retention, edema, all of those things are going to make the scale go up, inflammation go up, and actually are not giving you the nutrients that you think you have. Eliminate the sulfur foods. Those are foods like garlic, onions, egg yolks, broccoli, cauliflower, kale, cabbage, they can back up the liver, leading to an increase in toxicity, slow the metabolism, hypothyroidism, increased estrogens in the body, water retention, and fat gain. Then you want to, you know, eliminate the excess fats. You need to get this seed oils out of the body. They create inflammation that can stay in the body for over a year. And these um, will lead to excess water retention, fat gain, slow metabolism. The bad oils include canola oil, rice bran oil, sunflower oil, corn oil, soybean oil, cottonseed oil, safflower oil, grapeseed oil, and peanut oil. The oils and fats you can use are organic or cold pressed olive oil, butter, ghee, avocado oil, duck fat, and coconut oil. But if you are feeling nauseous when you eat fat, that's a sign that you've eaten too much fat for your liver and we need to do a liver flush. Need to lift heavy weights. You women out there, you are not going to get fat or big, I should say, from lifting heavy weights. We don't have the hormonal balance to do so. So just 
you want to lift things to where you are exhausted after eight to 10 reps. And there are a lot of people online, Tara Garrison, Deborah Atkinson, I love following them to get ideas on how to do at home exercises or go to the gym and lift those heavy weights. I mentioned sleep, 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 sleep. It is imperamount that you are sleeping. That's when the body recovers, reduces inflammation, builds the lean muscle and bone, and burns the body fat. I went over a lot of things today, so make sure you join that free group coaching. And if you have any questions about your health, you can always reach out to me directly. But you can always join me or through the free group coaching on Telegram with the link below. I teach you on a daily basis. Invite your friends, invite your um, people on in your LifeWave groups if you are if you are doing the patches. Um, there's no downside. I teach you on a daily basis with tips and tools to enhance your health. We are all on this journey um, together and you will be taking control of your health. The protocols and supplements I discussed are all found in the notes below and at sarahbantahealth.com. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram under Accelerated Health Products and see this podcast and all of my podcasts on over 100 channels under Accelerated Health TV and Radio Show. If you like what you hear today, please hit the subscribe button, leave a comment, leave a question. I get to all of them. I read all of them. Share with a few of your friends. That's how I can help the world. Join me every Monday and Tuesdays for the live podcast. Use coupon WELCOME10 for 10% off site-wide. Thanks again for joining us here on Accelerated TV, Health TV and Radio Show, and have a great week.